The bitfold is a 4-bit ADC with four binary outputs, a stepped output, and a sawtooth output. The inspiration for this module is the similarity of binary encoding to wave folding or frequency multiplication. These LEDs are taken from comparator thresholds, which are then encoded as a binary number on these four outputs. Each bit represents half as much voltage as the last, and as such will give you octaves when audio signals are run into it. The stepped output recombines the four bits into an analog signal of a lo-fi quality with this high frequency grit on top of it. The saw output subtracts the stepped output from the input, giving you these ramp-like waveforms. You can voltage control the effect. There is essentially a VCA before the ADC. And you can hear that the effect sounds different on a triangle wave, a sine wave, and a sawtooth wave. The bitfold can be used at the audio rates as a distortion or wave folding type effects. At LFO rates to generate gates and rhythms. Or in conjunction with the nibbler or bitmix for binary logic experiments including aliasing, phase modulation, and rungling type patches. Though we are calling this an analog to digital converter, and you can see it counting in binary, it is done with CMOS chips and has no clock rate. This would make it some sort of asynchronous signal, continuous time, discrete amplitude. Using it as a voltage controlled wave folder, the saw output and the out one output will be your main outputs. They will have the same number of folds, but different harmonics. Mixing together two of the outputs can be especially nice going into a filter such as the 100 grit. The saw output giving the 100 grit something to chew on. And mixing back in the stepped output keep that low frequency contact. So now we've added a low frequency oscillator to the inject input using the boundary VCA as an attenuator. This gives us a sort of pulse width modulation, which, as we crank up the frequency and the depth, gives us phase modulation. If we set it to ratio and then voltage control it that can give us some pretty neat effects Thank <laughs> you.
So now to show the bit fold on rhythms, we've got this boundary going on into the input and it's in unipolar mode. And we can hear it counting slowly on the rise stage and then faster on the fall. It's going into the bit mix and then those outputs are going into the AD110 uh, drum synth from Weston, and we also have a kick from the SSF, the Ultra Kick. So the least significant bit will count with each change, and that's what we're hearing on the hi-hat. Now let's bring in the um, open hat on the next bit down, the snare on the next bit down from that, and the kick on the least significant bit. Then if we We've also got the output running into the CV input of the three body, the stepped output so you can hear it counting. And the uh, other bit fold outputs going into the 100 grit with the soft folder of this bit fold controlling the CV. So you can see that reducing the gain on the rhythm bit fold can remove some outputs from firing at all and make others fire slowly, much slower. we have this boundary driving the nibblers and also triggering this boundary which is going into this bit fold and driving the closed hi-hats. You can also hear the changes in this bit fold through the stepped output driving the uh, FM of the three body. 